Hey gorgeous, assalamualaikum and welcome back to today's video. Thank you for coming back to my channel. So in today's video is going to be my review, my verdict on the best and the worst lip products from a drugstore. Yeah, talking about drugstore, I will show you guys the products that are available in Malaysia. It's basically available in Watsons or Guardian. So let's head on with the products. There will be no Maybelline products in this video. So if you guys want to know what are the best or what are the least best of Maybelline products, just check out from the link right here. I did a review specifically on Maybelline products. For me, it's best to choose other products other than Maybelline in this video because there are more and more products that are good actually. If you want to see the very best quality of drugstore products that I've tried, specifically on this lip product please do watch this video until the end of it i will start off with the product that are worse so the first product is from simplicity it's a gold edition matte lip cream the shade that i have right now is honey brown this is how the packaging looks like it's so gorgeous actually but let's talk about the formula of this i will apply this formula on my lips right now so Along this video, you will see my swatches, my review, and everything that you need to know about this lipstick. So this is how the color looks like. It's in the shade Honey Brown. They have five different shades for this Gold Edition Matte Lip Cream. So we're talking about this formula right now. I swear the color is so gorgeous. But the thing is, I don't really like the formula of this matte lip cream. It's beautiful, it's pigmented. But it's not as beautiful as this when we wear this for more than one hour or so. It's just enhance the dryness of the lips. It enhances the texture, the lines on the lips. It dries pretty fast. I would say that it dries pretty fast. But yeah, again, talking about the formula. It doesn't look good on the lips, it looks chappy, it looks too powdery, too matte. Yeah, I can see that it just basically enhances everything on my lips. To be honest, all the color selection for this gold edition are actually beautiful. I am truly impressed with the shade of this gold edition but yeah, sadly the formula doesn't impress me at all. It looks too powdery, too chalky. Yeah. So how kiss proof it is? It doesn't transfer at all, but still doesn't look good on my lips right now. And there is inconsistency of the color right here. I feel that there are some parts of the color that kind of removed and doesn't look good. Alright, the next worst lip product. Okay, I would not say this is kind of worse. It's actually kind of okay, acceptable. It is Silky Girl Matte Styler Lip Color. It comes in a slim packaging, which is so good. Let me swatch the color for you guys. It's a very beautiful color actually. It's in the shade 01. And let's talk about the formula of this. So here I am swatching this. I have actually did a review on this in my previous video. And I found that the color is nice at that time. But then... When I experimenting myself, I can say that the finish doesn't turn out to be good throughout a few hours. It enhances my dry lips. So you can see that the finish is so good. Right here, the color is so nice. It just matches with my shawl today. But let's talk about formula. It looks seamless right now. It looks so pigmented. Uh, the color payoff is so good and I really love the applicator. Basically, I don't have problems with the applicator, with the packaging, they're just so good. But the thing is, the formula doesn't impress me in a few hours. If I compare with the Simplicity Gold Edition Matte Lip Cream, this is much more drying. But this is just okay. It feels a little bit powdery, it enhances a little bit of my lines right here so you guys can see clearly. All the color selections are beautiful for this slim lip color. They have five different shades to choose from. Yeah, the color is quite funky, quite natural, quite suitable with teenagers. But still, we are talking about the formula of this. It doesn't impress me in a few hours. If I want to have this longer on my lips, I'll probably just apply lip gloss or lip balm underneath it so it will look fabulous. Yeah, the thing is, it can't stand alone. It needs help. I do not know about you guys, but this is based on my experience. Okay, let's do kiss proof test. 
it doesn't transfer much so that's very good actually yeah overall this is just okay for me now let's head on with the best lip products that i've tried it is rimmel stay setting liquid lip color it's in the shade shoulder pads they actually have 14 shades available as far as i can see that the shades are quite rare they have kind of like green color blue color but i will not go for that kind of color you know what kind of my favorite colors right so this is the shade shoulder pads it's a very beautiful peachy color i really enjoy using this color and the applicator is so helpful it's very straight the color is so gorgeous right here it's pigmented but if you wish to wear masks on your face you're probably gonna skip this lip color i mean this lip formula because it's a satin finish it will not turn into a kind of semi matte or matte finish it will stay like this i'm loving on how it feels like it's so velvety it's so smooth but you have to bear in mind that this color transfer a lot when i'm talking about the formula of lip color i am more to comfortability on the lips on how it feels on the lips basically it's mask proof or not it's kiss proof or not it's another thing that we need to consider of for me the most important thing is how comfortability it offers for us you know okay, so this is how the shade looks like i think this lip color has set beautifully have set in satin finish because it stays satin i'm gonna do kiss proof test on this one so you guys can see on how it transfer actually and how it look like after kiss proof test okay it transfer a lot like really really a lot but the finish on the lips still look good okay i swear it still look good it is more sheer than the first application but the thing is it doesn't look chappy it doesn't look weird you know sometimes the color will look inconsistent when we do a kiss proof test but this one stays pretty the next lip product is from essence this is ultra less instant color there are 12 colors to choose from so this is in the shade 14 catch up red so yeah it is kind of brick red color it's so beautiful and the most amazing part is the formula itself that's how the finish of it it's kind of like satin finish or semi matte finish it's not totally matte yes. you just need to be careful with this applicator it's so fragile so so fragile you know essence product will always came up with something that is so simple it's pretty bold right here and it's very beautiful let's talk about the formula of this this is actually so comfortable so lightweight so pigmented it feels nice on the lips to be honest it has a decent fragrance smell but it's not overly fragrance yeah i like everything about this this is gorgeous it has kind of satin finish or semi matte finish it stays beautiful for long hours but it's not kiss proof okay now let me show you guys how kiss proof it is There are color transferred on here, just like Rimmel Stay Satin, but the finish on the lips still look good. It stays pigmented, but it's just that more sheer than before. If you wish to have satin finish of lip colors on your lips while having a mask on your face, just dab a little bit amount of powder on your lips. I mean loose powder. It will be less transferred on your mask, but please bear in mind it will transfer probably a very tiny amount of it the next best lip product is silky girl oh my god powder matte this is in the shade number 10 mauve they actually have 10 shades available to choose from and this is what i got from drugstore the packaging is so nice so this is how the color looks like and how the finish looks like it glides so smooth on my lips and it's so pigmented too even though it stays matte but i think this is quite comfortable it's so easy to glide on the lips i love the finish of it i love on how it feels it's quite lightweight on the lips and i think this is kind of fun color to play with and the finish is so gorgeous it doesn't enhance the lines on my lips just like they are slim lip color so yeah if i compare this slim lip color and this oh my god powder matte lip color from silky girl 
I would say this is much more better. It looks beautiful, it stays beautiful on the lips for long hours and let me do kiss proof test for this one. Transfer a little bit but still gorgeous. It feels nice, it's not too powdery, it's not too matte, it's like comfortable matte finish. The next best lip color from drugstore, yeah there are lots of best lip color that I mentioned in this video. This is Intuit Blooming Mousse Lipstick. It is from Blooming Edition. They have six colors to choose from for this collection and from what I've seen the shades are more to orangey, tangerine, peachy color. Now let's talk about the formula of this. As it says mousse lipstick so it has kind of mousse finish or if you're familiar with clay finish yeah that's the same thing. This is how it looks like. So very pigmented. I wore this under my mask and it transferred just a little bit. So that's how it goes. The texture and formula of this mousse lipstick from Intuit. A very gorgeous color. Kind of like tangerine and orange color. It's so lightweight to be honest. And yes, it has kind of mousse finish on it. I can feel that. It's just a little bit heavier than a satin finish. But I can still feel the comfortability on my lips right now. So yeah, I've worn this for more than one or two hours. I can say that the formula is so nice, so good on the lips. It doesn't make my lips look dry when I remove this color. But if I compare this mousse finish with satin finish, I would say that the satin finish feel more lightweight than this. Let's do a kiss proof test for this one. It transferred but the finish on the lips still look good, still look gorgeous, still look pigmented. Alright, we are almost to the end of this video. So this is my most favorite formula of lip product from drugstore. So this is Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink. It's in the shade Mauve Darling. They have so many shades for this collection. There are 21 shades available to choose from. So this is what I have, what I've picked from drugstore. This is the color. So very pigmented. It matches my shawl. I like the feel of this. It's a little bit tacky for the first application. I would say that the texture looks kind of similar with this Rimmel satin. The color is so beautiful. I like this kind of color. It's mauve, it's purple. Yeah, the feel of it is so nice, so comfortable moisturizing doesn't enhance the dryness of my lips it's comfortable and lightweight it has a kind of glossy or metallic finish on it but that's so very sheer actually it is more to satin it's beautiful it's so gorgeous it's just plump up the lips basically it's just make my lips look healthy i love the shine of it it's so gorgeous let's take a look on how kiss proof it is no color transferred that's amazing. So that's why I am loving this formula so, so much. Okay guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching this review until the end of it. I hope you found this video helpful for you. And yes, basically this is my verdict, my opinion and my experience of using them. So when I say it's good, it's good for me. When I say it's worse, it's the worst for me. If you have any suggestions on any other products that you have tried from drugstore, please do comment down below. I really want to know it. Thank you again. I'll see you soon in the next video.